Hey my Stampin' Friends, it's Kelly from Menasha, Wisconsin, and today I have a beautiful scenery card to show you. Isn't this gorgeous? I decided after I saw a video that Lori Krause shared with me on how to do brayering techniques to get out that neglected brayer and give this a try. You're going to be amazed at how easy this is and also all the little elements that I've added like the white gel pen, a little bit of color with the aqua painter. You're going to love this and you're going to make cards that make you look like an amazing artist. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. I've got a piece of whisper white cardstock that is five inches by three and three quarters and I'm going to start with basic gray ink. So when you ink up your brayer, you want to do it on your ink pad the long way. What my friend Lori told me is you don't want to get ink on these edges. So we're going to do it the long way and you have to pick it up and roll it so that you get ink on all sides of your brayer. If you only do this, you're not getting ink on that top part of your brayer. So you want to pick it up and roll it on your ink pad. Uh, you're going to turn it so that it's to your advantage here. And Lori told me you want to start off of your paper. So when you start brayering, don't brayer on your paper. You're going to brayer on your scrap paper underneath of it. And you're just going to push it to the left if you're right-handed. And just keep rolling. You can see that you're getting kind of a graduated color here. I'm going to add just a little bit more ink and you just keep brayering and adding ink until you get the color depth that you're looking for and pushing it to the left as you roll. And that looks pretty good. I like that. Okay, clean off your brayer and I'm just going to roll it on my scrap paper here. And I'm going to use Lost Lagoon. That's the color I chose to use for my water. And again, I'm going to ink that up. Start off my paper and push it to the left or the right if you're left-handed. You would do this opposite. Inking up my brayer again. Start off your paper. Okay, I like that. Now, when you get to this point, you may look at your layer of cardstock and go, oh my gosh, what is that? Don't worry about that. It's going to be beautiful. And now we're going to start stamping. So I used the In the Meadow stamp set. This is in the Occasions mini catalog. This is a wonderful scenery set. Great for masculine cards, too. And then the greeting that I use, the sympathy greeting, is from the Rose Wonder stamp set. And this looks really small on the front of the case, but these images are really quite large. They're beautiful. I, I love them. I'm going to stamp my mountains using the basic gray ink. And I'm just going to stamp them here a couple times. There we go. Doesn't that look pretty? See, you're already putting together a gorgeous card. And then I chose black for the rest of my elements. I've got the flowers here. And I'm just going to stamp them tall and then a little bit lower. I'm using black memento ink here and here comes my trees and then the other thing that I wanted to do was stamp a little bit more grass in here so we've got this great grass stamp and add that in and then I might as well stamp my greeting and when I got done with this card I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with it but I thought it was so serene and pretty that it would make a perfect sympathy card. So there I have everything ready to go. 
Then I brought in some elegant eggplant. And if you open your cover a little bit and squeeze it, it'll leave ink inside the cover. So you can use an aqua painter to paint with it. And I'm just gonna come in and add some color to these little puffs of flowers. The ones that actually have petals on them, I'm going to leave those to color with my gel pen. Clean off your aqua painter. You simply rub it back and forth until you don't have any color anymore. Now I'm gonna bring in Mossy Meadow. And I'm just going to put some little dots. I shouldn't say little dots. I'm making some circles that are gonna bring the color out in my trees. These trees don't really have definite leaves, so I thought this was a great alternative and quick and easy. And it adds a lot of interest to my card. We like interest, right? Have fun with this. See what you can come up with. And now I'm gonna come in with a white gel pen and I'm gonna color my flowers. And these are the flowers with the petals. I'm coloring them white. And all I'm doing is just kind of marking little lines in each petal. It really makes your flowers pop. So give that a try, it's, it's pretty neat. Okay, and then the other thing I did with the white gel pen is I put little dots above each of the puff flowers that I colored with the eggplant ink. And again, this is really quick and easy. I also wanted to add some snow to my mountains, so I just kind of followed the shading pattern that Stampin' Up put on these mountains and then topped them off with kind of a little V. And again, I'm not an artist, but boy, does this card turn out pretty. There we go. And if you'd like to, my friend Lori told me, I kind of forgot about this, but she told me you can add some more gray to your mountains and that'll make them pop too. Add a little bit more color, it'll make them stand out a little bit more. You want to do that before you do your gel pen. I kind of forgot about it. I think the gel pen will show through it, but I'm not positive. So do that before you put your gel pen on there. And again, you saw how fast I do this. This is nothing too particular. And then before I do my water, I'm going to add a little blue to the edge here. Just to kind of define the bank of my lake a little better. And then the last thing that I did here was I added some watermarks, like your water is glistening in the daylight, and you're just going to take your pen and let it skip as you draw lines. I shouldn't say that's the last thing because we're going to do one more thing. Just let it skip along. Just like that. Neat, huh? I want to add some more green down in here in the banks. This would be the bank of your lake, so you're taking a picture from the bank. So I'm going to take a sponge dauber with some green on it, and I'm just going to bring some color in here. And again, nothing too fancy, very simple. You can get as detailed with this as you would like. If you want some green, you can bring in some green on your stems. Add a little more green to this. That works too. So there we go.
Pretty neat, huh? It's just that simple, you guys. I probably did three practice runs with my brayer before I got to the point where I went, wow, this is really pretty. Then I layered this on a piece of white cardstock that is just a quarter inch bigger than the piece we're working with. 